What's going on? How you doing? It's time for some more Akmaju Dracula X Gekka no Yasu Kyoku, and this is going to be part three of that one. And last we left off, we we're making pretty decent progress. And pretty much right now, this one, we're going to be running off stuff now that I got the bat form. So, you know the drill. Grab a drink. Let's play some damn games. It's going to be fun diving back into this one, though. I'm really liking the experience so far. Seriously. It's pretty kick-ass. And let's just fiddle around with that just a tad bit. Yeah, get it normal again. Yeah, you gotta fiddle with it. You gotta fiddle with it. Something so stupid <laughs> could be so amusing. But I figure the best place to start off with grabbing every possible thing that we could be missing is actually the front gates. No joke. Take that happy dappy teleporter service. I need. Oh shit, there's the map! I don't know what I did. Oh, it's L, so you gotta pause it and then hit <laughs> L. Alright. Makes sense. But I mean, typically with the PlayStation, what you would do is, is you'd hit the select button, but the Saturn did not have one of those. Like, I don't think they would have just forgotten the map, you know? Because, why would the librarian sell you a map if you can't use it? Oh man, this will make things a lot easier. All right, I think I'm underground now. We want one that's right up front. I don't think I'm out front. I am not. Man, that debris doesn't even, like, hang around, like, in the littlest bit. It just drops. Where the screen even loads, it drops. Well, what are you gonna do? I think I already got that, you know. Damn stupid zombie bastard. I just don't want to go anywhere near those friggin' things because they're just annoying as all hell. I mean, maybe the spawn rate is off with them. That was a game I used to play, though, with this. You just think up little things to do as you're exploring. You know, see if you can make it all the way across without touching the ground once. You know, and granted, I'm out of practice because it's been... It's been a while. gets good to piss you off. What is that? Wrong one. I think I found the hidden garden. Holy shit. This is a great way to start this off, too. Another one! We're not even five minutes in and we find something new. This has got to be the hidden garden. And I want to see these things upside down. Like, it's really surreal to me, because I used to see pictures of this.
skeleton greeter. What is that? A water leaper. What the f- That's creepy. Okay. <laughs> we'll just save right there. That thing is creepy. I know I said that already. Look at the face. Wow. Oh, it's Scissor Man. Scissor Man dead. Yeah, let's give him a little water. Man trap. All right. Your poison ivy would love that. See, I'm just shutting up and taking in the atmosphere, you know. See, I don't even want to find out what that thing does. Like, it probably grabs you and holds you in there, or, like, takes a bite out of you. It's a little weird, though, because, like, that was obviously a boss fight, you know? So if that was a boss fight, um... Why did it have different music? Like, you didn't get the boss music, you got Bloody Tears. Way to keep the pace going, Poochie. What is this, a warp zone? It's probably a warp zone. So there's really nothing to this? I mean, we went to the right, we went up. I don't know, if it, it feels like... I don't know, kind of like I was expecting a little more out of that one. Because that's not even like a level, that's like a room. It's the same thing with the haunted prison. It's more of like a transitional thing, like a hallway that you go down. I mean, who the hell knows? Maybe that might explain something for me right there. Why the... You know, why if it was a part of the original, why it was cut because there wasn't anything significant about it. I'm going to go back. 
I mean, there, there, there has to be something behind this place. I mean, just fighting a boss and getting a health power up. I mean, aside from, like, a couple new enemies, I mean, were these not finished? doing <laughs> he just kept going I mean that's one way to travel right nah there's got to be like a new item or something there's got to be Maybe killing these things will give me something. Venus man crap. I mean, if this was originally in the thing, that's all I can think of, is they cut it out because there was nothing significant about it. I mean, the cursed prison is just a transitional thing, and this is literally just two rooms. I mean, I was expecting, like, a revelation out of this shit. Starting to turn into Capone's Volt, though. Gonna keep doing this till they drop something. Rapes.
Yeah, you know what? Give it a shot. I don't think I'm gonna really find anything here. I mean, anything significant. Try again after I get that stupid ring. I mean, it's cool that you can actually shift, um... Shift your movement around as the bat, though. That's kind of nice. Something I don't remember in the original. Still gotta get used to those buttons. You know, even still, I personally can't pitch because... Hey, we had a chance to just witness something that's been locked away for over two decades, you know? Uh, more than two decades, pal. And what are we thinking here, 97? I want to say 97. We're in 2021. Even though it don't feel like it. Oh well, cool piece of history, right? He just shoved me aside so he could mourn his ball and I kind of feel like an asshole now. Wait a minute. I got that spot. Can't forget that. <laughs> Alucard moved though very well. But it's so easy to forget about the areas that you've been to. your mouth. Alright, we gotta go underground to be able to unlock that thing there. Getting used to the buttons. Yeah, but now we can go down the waterfall. We can get the thingamabob that summons the Orman. Oh, shut up. I already hit that up. Are you serious? Well, you know what? I should probably take the short wrap. What are we doing the scenic shit? Ah! Don't forget about something else here. There's, there's all sorts of shit up in the church area. Also where you kill off uh, Slavra and Gibdo. something up here, too. I think it's just these things. It's definitely a very cool effect, though. The skill of the wolf. It's really just like a short-range charge attack. I broke all your shit.
No. It is a bit weird, though, after you've gotten way stronger in this game. Not even way stronger. It's like... Like one level or one item can make a huge difference. And back when you go through these areas where you had to kind of be careful of what you did, now it's just... That's wild, the moving around thing. It's a little unwieldy, kind of handles like a shopping cart. It's just like, no, you kill shit in one hit, doesn't do any damage to you whatsoever, it's nothing. It's just caca. Not sure if I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah, because I'm so used to passing through that one area. And now what it really is, is you're just going through the cursed prison thing. Yeah, we did that. And I'm back friggin' here. I mean, I know I said I had this on PSP, and I also bought it for the PS3, but I never really played this all that much after I had it. You know, like back when I would bus back and forth between Vegas and Phoenix, you know, I'd play that on the bus, or I'd just like fall asleep like reading a book or something. But, I mean, that's pretty typical me. Charge a PSP fully, pack every game that I have up. Metal Gear Acid, Final Fantasy War of the Lions, Final Fantasy IV Complete, this, the other Final Fantasy games that they had on there. And my ass just winds up reading a book. Yeah, I know, I got the stupid salt, but whatever. I don't care. Dun, 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 dun. There's an upgrade from the salt. I mean, even the, the kick attack. 31. 41. No. Alright, that's a save room, right? No, wait. I know I missed the pathway into the thing. But there's that little recovery right there. Gravity boots. Yep, yeah, still works. And the stuff for a fairy there. Any second now. Cause we'll just go pay old Orlock a visit. Thank <laughs> you. 
one damage, you know? You just get so insanely powerful. You know, once again, another uh, parallel to Vampire Hunter D. this beautiful piece of fan art where someone drew Alucard fighting Count Orlock, you know, and it was a dining room and everything was all torn apart and Alucard's hiding behind a pillar and Orlock is looking for him. Kind of reminded me of the old, uh, like, drawing that they had in the Legend of Zelda book when they had Link to the Past, when Nintendo was all about that, of Link hiding behind a pillar trying to shoot big old scary looking Ganon. But yeah, it kind of reminded me of that one. Cut off the wrong ball. So that's a comedy movie that so many people have not seen. Sour Grapes. It's probably one of Steven Weber's better roles. Alright, I'll sit with you. That's kind of new. Engage. What did I do? Get my hearts back this way. Fucking Godzilla over here. stronger in this one. Way more enjoyable fight. I mean, not a threat at all with the level and the armor that I have. You saw how little damage he was doing. I could give less than a rat's ass about it. But I mean, I thought the attacks looked pretty awesome. Yeah, now 
know it's all coming back to me. This sad thing. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> I used to tease that thing. And it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> but I would stand there and walk away and he'd turn around and I'd come back and he'd be like, huh? And he'd stop and he'd turn around and start shaking it again. I always kind of envisioned something where, like, you'd throw food at him and he gives you an item or something. I mean, at least that's how I always pictured it, you know? Not quite ready to go up to Dracula's throne room. I mean, we still got a... Got a ways to go. We gotta get the two rings. So that... You can go down to that throne room area and get the holy glasses from the Maria so that you can get the uh, proper ending where you have to kill, you know, kill the orbs floating over his head. Then do the whole upside down castle bit and take on Draki. I forgotten something. We got this. All right, fine, whatever. I mean, that was one of the better visual effects that they had in this game as well, where you would go by the fountain and it would turn to blood. I thought that was awesome. I mean, I think I've already clarified my thing enough, where it's like, yeah, I, I call the game overrated. It doesn't mean that, you know, it's not really impressive, even still. I mean, for its time, it was absolutely ahead of the curve in a lot of regards. I think it's time to head underground. And I can do that by... All right now. All right, we got that area. I think I can go through the Coliseum. I mean, I know I'm kind of going in a big circle. I think this is the way to go to the Coliseum. She just annihilated that. Yeah, here's this. Ha <laughs> 
get out of here. You one hit point damage killing bastard. <laughs> Yeah, Miss could pass through, right? This will take us over here. Just gotta get underground. Uh, that's one way to get past all that stuff, right? No. I'm not gonna let you throw boomerangs at me like that. It's not the Legend of Zelda. Alright, time to tap out, use the map, I know. Da, 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 da. If I go down and follow that all the way down that way. So I don't want to go too far underground because then it's kind of meaningless. You want to go right down and keep going down. So just go to the right, go down, then keep going down. But I thought of the, uh, you know, using the teleportation rooms. That's going to take me a little too far out of my way. Because then i got to fight my way up as opposed to just jumping down. Sometimes scenic route works. Sometimes. Wait a second. Yep, yeah, that's the way we want to go. I can jump down the waterfall. We'll be good. Ooh, a zircon. No, it's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to throw a fireball. It's a really short range thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the succubus. Can't wait to hear what she sounds like. Pretty much the best accessories you can possibly get. All right, here we go. Oh, 
私は喜んで死を迎えましょうダメだそんなことごめんなさいアルカードあなたにばかりつらい思いをでも私からの最後の言葉を心に留めて生き続けて、はい、母上人を憎しみなさいそして殺しなさい<笑>生き続けて罪を重ねるよりも死んだ方が人間には良いのですさあそこの人から殺しなさい違うどうしたのですアルカードそんなことは言っていないはずだ何を言っているの殺して皆を幸せにするのよ断じて母じゃない貴様何者だ<笑>私の呪縛を破るなんて気に入ったわ Damn. ユウさん貴様にはしすらなまぬらいゆっくりと虜にしてあげるいらっしゃい坊や What? この血の匂いなぜ夜の一族の血の匂いがまさかこの強さそして美しさああ間違いないわあなたは伯爵様の夢の世界での死は精神の死だ抜け殻のまま永遠にさまようがいい待ってお願いダメ That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that just sounds awesome. I mean, I suppose if you were going to break it down. If you wanted, like, the definitive gameplay experience, you'd probably just get the Japanese one on PS1. You know? Enjoy it for the voices, enjoy it for the smooth gameplay. Those extra areas, kind of superfluous. I can kind of, in a sense, understand why they cut it. But then again, that also raises the question. Were they playing something else? You know? Was there gonna be more to that? And then they just stopped, because I was like, yeah, get the fucking game out. And then after the game was out and it sold really well, they figured that they would finish it up and、uh, throw it out on the Sega Saturn and call it an exclusive thing. I know there's a money bag in there, but meh. Wait a second here.、Yeah. I don't think I've ever been up there. I have not. You know, but also when you get the Japanese version on the PS1, you got better gameplay and it's got way better voice acting. Like, clear cut Japanese version, way better voice acting. Could have been more to this. And here's the map telling me, hey, I haven't been here before. Bullshit. Huh. Whatever. Marty, you're not thinking fourth dimensionally.
leave the damn frogs alone, Sasha. Get like an angry phone call, like three o'clock in the morning. Dad, I was watching your video and look what you did. How dare you kill the frogs? I just want to... Trying to walk by him peacefully. Not leaving me with much choice here, though. And if you think I'm being funny or I'm being a wise ass or I'm being ridiculous or something, just you wait. You have kids? and you play games with them, or they watch you play games, there is going to be shit that they're going to demand that you not kill. It's like I was saying with Red Dead. I was not allowed to kill foxes. I wasn't allowed to hunt the deer. Even if it was a mission. And, yeah, they will check your stats. Why is there a fox pelt in your inventory? I don't know. I don't know how they got there. <laughs> and that is shit that you will never, ever, ever live down. They will remember it. They will remind you of it 20 years later. And quite possibly, it's going to be a future therapy bill. So at best, just avoid it. Fishy man. Shall I guide a prince across the river? I could not help but just do that where you stand there, old regal like with the cape. trouble just for that bullshit. Glad the kids don't like fish. Just making sure there wasn't a health thing there. But the whole purpose of getting that thing is so you can go all the way over to the right again and then summon his ass so he'll take you across, you get the snorkel, which is called the holy symbol for some odd reason. And that's how you can go in the water without getting hurt. I mean, it is kind of funny. Of all, like, the vampiric weaknesses that you could possibly get, it's water. I mean, that's not even running water and it hurts. See? But that's how you know you've become, like, too powerful, too, is when you can just stand there and be like, meh. More of that shiitake. I am taking a crack at learning Japanese. So far, <laughs> all I've got memorized is uh, Misu and Nitsu. Yeah, Mitsu and Misu and Nitsu. Misu is water and Nitsu is me. There's something else that the program's really pushing on me. Sushi. 
You know, so when I wind up in Japan, I'll at least, you know, not starve to death. Or, um, won't die of thirst. But if there's some advice and wisdom that I can impart to people, definitely learn a second language. That was an accident. There's a thousand more where they came from. You know, but seriously, definitely learn a second language, because it never hurts to know one. It's always nice to test your brain. You know, make sure the old noodle is still working properly. And you're never gonna, you never know when you're gonna be in a situation where you're... I can't believe I called it a situation. A situation. <laughs> when, you know, you're gonna find it coming in handy. You know, plus if you ever want to impress somebody, you could be like, yeah, I'm, I can speak two languages. But do it when you're young. It's way easier to learn when you're young. Christ, I'm 36 and I can still barely speak English properly. <laughs> row, row. Yeah, and I, I tried to be cheap once and just, you know, go without. And it's a locked door. You gotta have the guy with you. So you're gonna burn most of your health going down there, and then you're gonna burn up, you know, the rest of it going back. So yeah, now you can just go underwater and not care. Now what difference does that make? I don't know, getting like the nunchuckle. But, you know, there's elixir here. I know that there's a health, you know, jar thing here. One of those thingamabobs that gives you more health. I don't even need the stupid fairy maid anymore either. The hell with him. Let him stay there for the rest of his life. There it is. Like, seriously, by the time you reach this area, it's like a useless weapon. That's not useless, though. Holy shit. Talk about hitting the jackpot. Did we get the trifecta going, though? Alright, there's nothing going on over there. I missed some stuff underground. I gotta go underground anyway, because I got the sonar. That was a toad, not a frog. Although, don't mess with the toads either. I know. Did anybody ever use this shit? Any of those resist potions? Because I never did. What did that hit? I don't know. But yeah, I never used any of those resist potions. I never found a use for them. Alright. Get the hell away from these frogs, though. Ooh, 
who would hide anti-venom in the water? Yeah, that's where I'm going next. Then we pretty much got the entire underground cleaned out. I mean, you know what? Can't get disappointed about those two areas. Because, I mean, it was impressive to see him. It was a nice ooh, ah, wow moment. And maybe it'll be better in the underground thing, you know? Maybe it'll be better. Actually, coming up on the one hour mark. So, yeah, we'll just save it right here. We'll call this video. And seems like a plan. Yeah, so far we've cleared off all the new areas. Now we get to just wrap up the first castle. Then we can head to the over, you know, the upside down area. And we'll just go, f you know, from there. But so far, I'm still having fun with this. So this kicks ass. See you real soon, guys.